Hello YouTube, it's uh, it's Saru's here. I haven't done a little video for a little while. Um, I haven't really been bothered to be honest. The game's kind of boring at certain points, but I still go to locals and that. Uh, and the other day I went to regionals playing ABC, which was a crime in itself, but I had a good time. So I thought, you know what, let's start uploading some videos again. Um, at my locals, Kettering, we're looking at changing a few things at the tournament, so hopefully I might be able to get some actual live duels recorded with some people um, <clears throat> get some guest appearances on the channel uh, maybe start getting some more proper content out there again uh, because I still get emails daily from people that actually still subscribe to the channel probably because they saw an error mage video about three years ago which has a thousand million views um, and it's the only one apparently in the world so um, but alas you're here to look at a first place uh, Cosmo deck because it's now 2016 again. Um, we really out here, boys, uh, with our Cosmo decks. Uh, so obviously at locals we just want to play what we want to play. Um, we still have things like ABC and DDDs and stuff were there, um, and Capoli still plays his Shiranoi Solitaire with Minerva, the uh, the the tuna one. <laughs> so shout out to Capoli there. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, so. With that into account, let's have a look. We'll start going through the uh, the Cosmo deck list, the 2016. So we've got um, Eclipser, um, Dark Destroyer, Forerunner, two Land Walkers, because obviously we're playing the Fire King Island build. Then we've got one Dark Lady, one Delta Shuttle for the combo, uh, and a Free Slip Rider. And they're all pretty necessary. Obviously I would have put in a second uh, Dark Destroyer on the day, but I couldn't find one. Um, I would have played three if I could find them, but you know, apparently I'm I'm not allowed to use three, so you know, bullshit banless, but whatever. Uh, so that's that. They all float with the exception of Dark Eclipse. So Dark Eclipse is actually new because um, of the Paleozoic matchup, and I actually played against uh, Callum's Paleozoic deck. Uh, and as soon as I dropped Eclipse, he was actually just fucked. It was, <laughs> he's like, I've literally got nothing to do that with this card. So that was that was kind of cool. Um, now we've got some pilots, so we've got the old faithful farm hoe, uh, two saw troopers, funny story, um, Demise Cosmo isn't that much fun, uh, two straw man, and then two tin can, so not many pilots actually, just two, four, six, seven pilots, um, I wasn't sure whether I wanted to play the three tin can, uh, but I opted with two in the end because you'll see there's there's other there's other cards in this deck that uh, that help it quite a lot. They facilitate different styles of plays which we didn't have back when uh, Fire King Cosmos first came out. Um, so quite quite the right number of pilots. I didn't really ever have a problem where I didn't have a pilot and I had nothing to play. Uh, so we got the Speedroid engine as well. This uh, this was brilliant. Um, I didn't really see it much, but when I saw it, it definitely helped to make that that leave the air play, um, which was superb because you could leave the air into a straw man, straw man into a banished art destroyer, um, and the combos were they were quite nice. So yeah, uh, I'm definitely providing this stays at any kind of number in the ban list. Uh, I will play that. Unfortunately, Konami are going to fuck it over because they're cocks. Two maxi and one chicken. Um, Funny story, didn't brick once with chicken all weekend. Woohoo! Could probably have one game with the chicken and brick with it. So, yeah, obviously he's not as good as not drawing the chicken that I am. That's all the monsters. <clears throat> then we have the spells. So we play the one of Ireland and the one of Itali. Itali is very similar to Dark Story. I couldn't find any more on the day, unfortunately, so I was only allowed to use one. Um, again, I mean, that's pretty self explanatory. You would never play any more Viking Islands, and you would definitely play more Tellers if you were allowed it. Uh, Triple Town. Uh, triple forming. Um, I have a track record with terraforming and shitty spells like Union Hanger and stuff, but this wasn't too bad. Terra Cosmo Town's a lot better than Union Hanger in my opinion. Um, it gives a constant magical mallet effect, and with these three cards, the three are law. With all the dark type ships, you've got a constant pot of greed going on. Um, I mean, what's not to like about that, to be honest? And then we have on to the traps. We have two dimensional barrier, so strong, so strong, quote Oliver Newton, twat. Two Cosmojo and a warning. Cosmojo is still pretty much the best trap in the game. Um, non targeting removal, also nuke your own ship um, to float down. It's still so good. Um, I don't know why you wouldn't play that card. 
Uh, and Warning's obviously the best counter trap pretty much, so. Uh, wouldn't change anything about that. I wouldn't change anything about the main deck. I was really happy with it. Um, no MSTs or anything else. So we have uh, the extra. So we got Gaia Dragon, M7, Volcasaurus, the Aedes, Downard, Breaksword, Totem Bird, Levier times two, Nightmare Shark, Necrot Engineer, Grand Pulse, uh, New Topic Future. There's also an Infinity and a Nova, but Brad's stolen them off me. So. Um, he's currently got them using them in his Clifford engine, so I borrowed them for the day. But um, you would definitely 100% play uh, Infinity and Nova. It's the only XCs other than Olivier I ever actually make. On to the side deck real quick. Um, we got Cosmo Goodwitch. Uh, she's actually really good in the side. She gives you the ability to bait out things like Totally Awesome, uh, the ABC Dragon Buster, uh, any, anything that's got an effect that you, that you want to get rid of. You can summon a you just activate a book and moon effect for five life points and then you're you're forcing them to to negate with toad or to or to to tag out with Buster and you can literally just bounce it then and, and then obviously go into a uh, into a pilot. So it's actually it's actually really good. Shout out to Adam Black because uh, he, he wins about how good it was and we all ignored him. Um two anti spell fragrance for Le Pendulums and one Vanities because uh I hope Vanities is really good against kids. Um <clears throat> Would have definitely lost if <laughs> it wasn't for Fanny so this. Oh dear. Need the one out to beat the kids. Um, uh, then for the spells, we have um, the two of System Down, uh, which is obviously superb. Uh, the two of Dark Hole and the one of Regeki. These are just for zoo format, which is about to happen because I'm going to blow shit up. Um, three MST. Not really a big fan of Twin Twister in this particular deck. I prefer um, MST. Uh, it gives me quite a lot. And then the best spell of the format, which is uh, Forbidden Chalice. I've been telling everyone in my locals to pick up free chalices for a long time now. Um, and when we went to Stevenage, this, this card literally single-handedly won me three or four games. It's just so fucking good. The ability to take up the strikes, put in the chalices, and you gain so much from it. It's an offensive card. It's a defensive card. Um, ask Luke Diamond when you uh, when you use your Sky Cavalry Centuria to attack into Ken Goran in the Paleozoic match, and then your chalice is Sky Cavalry for uh, damage. 50. 50 attack has never been so so prominent. Um, but yeah, so chalice is just literally it's just amazing I'm, I'm i'm just an advocate of this card staying in the side deck i'd main it if i could if i play your dolls anytime soon they'll be main because they're just so good um that's a deck tell me what you think um tell me if you'd change anything yourself i'll probably ignore you but um i'll definitely acknowledge it uh i'm the fire king master alpine ain't gonna got shit on me don't forget to like comment and subscribe